Hello, I just wanted to do a quick video. It was not planned at all, so excuse for the mess. Uh, but basically, I had this uh, temperature controller sitting for a few days. Um, gave myself some time to try to research it online. Today I spent a lot of time um, looking for wiring diagrams, uh, looking at videos. And to be honest, I am a total newbie when it comes to wiring this kind of stuff. And even the videos that seem the most uh, clear or organized uh, still didn't make much sense for me. Um, a lot of the videos are for brewing, brewing purposes. And I am wiring this strictly for aquarium heating purposes. So basically a lot of people uh, go through a tragedy which is that their heater malfunctions and stays on therefore increasing the temperature of their tank to a point where basically all their fish dies. I have read a few horror stories and because I have very beautiful expensive fish I would be crushed if this happened to me. So as a preventive measure I bought those things online and um, today I had a bit of time I said okay let me wire it. So I thought I had it down and I thought I had it right and I basically wired it two times wrong. And this is why I finally decided to make this video to explain where I messed up or at least what to do so that you know you wire it very simply. So here it goes. Currently the thermostat is set at 25 degrees and because it's 23.7 I have an air pump here on the floor that you can hear running so it's taking the role of a heater so basically until this reaches 25 the heater or the pump will keep running so I'm grabbing the probe and I want to hold it in my hand so I can warm up the temperature you see the temperature going up and pay attention to the noise of the pump the humming noise there you go so basically there's a 0.5 degree uh, differential that this thing is set up for so now assume my heater went past by itself all crazy well you know what it doesn't have any power so there's no way it can go there so basically that's the safety feature of this um, controller now I'm gonna go to the wiring so first of all I used a used power cord it is uh, this one is switch but ignore the switch you don't need a switch okay this is just what I had so I had this power cord which is supposed to bring the power uh, this one brings the power to the whole system right and then instead of having a system with a box with a couple of outlets I decided to wire a strip onto it which is also powered but again you don't need that switch so it's on always right you might just decide to turn it off at some point when you're doing maintenance um, in the tank in which case I can turn it off from two sides uh, but otherwise you just unplug it so basically this is just because it was there okay now I did use this power switch with the euro plugs reason being uh, a lot of my heaters are uh, Jaeger heaters and they come with these two pins right so rather than having a power strip with UK plugs and having to put in adapters at every one of them sorry uh, basically I'll use the heater straight from the box and plug them in 
right there. They don't need to be grounded because that's the way they come. Okay? Now, all the diagrams you find online include heating and cooling. So, first of all, for a majority of the aquarium hobby, you just need to worry about heating, which simplifies the equation. Okay? So, here is the wiring diagram. So, you can see that your main power comes here. Then this is very easy because this is the sensor probes, which is the black terminals here and the heating is this portion that you worry about and you ignore totally these two ports all right now I wired it twice wrong but let's not go over the wrong let's go over what's right now power comes in here goes to the main live and goes also to port number I think it's five here yeah port number five okay which is the live for the heating okay now the neutral which is the black here goes into this one the last one here and goes into the neutral for the unit and it goes directly into the neutral of my Power, power extension so basically all the neutrals get assembled together which is what I did wrong I thought this was neutral and I wired it all together and it was wrong I mean I wired it here and it was wrong all the neutrals go together so one two three the heating side the power side and the controller side they're all basically connected here the grounds ground you don't have a ground connection here so basically you're grounding your power extension with your incoming power so basically they, they just get hooked up together so whatever ground is coming from from my strip here is going to go straight back into the circuit from here anyways right so grounded is grounded here so basically this leaves you the last bit of the, of the connection all the live which is usually brown is brown all the way to the first port then you share it with the port number five in my case and then number six which is basically there's a switch between these two and this is how the the controller works sends it back to your power strip or your heaters so like that it works this I just put it like this I don't need these two uh, I could cut it I could just uh, uh, put electrical tape on it I just like to have it this I'll, I'll find a box and then I'll set it up in a box but basically here is how the wiring works I just happened to see another video and it enlightened me as far as the basically all the grounds go together they could be connected directly here don't need this they could be connected directly here all the neutrals get connected together as well along with one neutral for the controller and then it's just the live that goes and does this little trip and then with that it works so once i power it just turn it on there there you go and automatically there it starts so basically my power is going to my extension which you can see is going there so another way is I have a nice way of, of checking that it's running uh, at night obviously I won't hear the pump uh, but if that power strip light is on I know that my heaters are running and basically I plug in my heaters over there that's it. I hope this uh, clarifies the situations for the situation for a few of you.